If you're trying to be the producer of the best vocal sound, then this SSL compressor setting will be right up your street. People will not stop asking you how you got such a pro sounding vocal. But before you move on thinking you know this, this isn't your normal gluey SSL 4 to 1 compressor setting. Trust me, you're going to use this. So the compressor settings that I'm about to show you from the SSL compressor, you're able to use these on all instruments. But I'm going to show you today it on a vocal because I think it really shows off exactly what's happening with the compression. We've got a vocal that is quite spiky. Most vocals start like this where you've got the uh, singer as they're singing, they're singing a little bit louder in places. They're not keeping their, their volume straight. So when it's as part of the mix, you kind of lose the vocal a little bit and it can sound a little bit edgy and hard. So what we're gonna do is put the compressor on the vocal so that we're just holding it together and so that it's gonna make the dynamic peaks just come down a little bit so that it all sounds really super smooth. So before we put the compressor on, let's have a listen to the vocal before. You'll hear it's very dynamic, up and down, quite spiky. And you'll see when we put the compressor on later how we get it to sound so professional. So you can hear like even the last um, vocal is down and it's just sort of a little bit all over the place. We want it to sound super smooth. So using the SSL um, E channel strip from UAD, there are loads of people that make these channel strips. I think um, Slate have one, Waves have one. I think most people have done their version of it. I'm just using the UAD because it was the first to hand. So we're going into the dynamic section here. Let's turn the compressor on. And what we want to do is turn the threshold down to minus 20, which is the lowest point that it can be. We want to keep the release time on what it was, which is a 0.4 release. So it's not super fast, but it's not super slow. So it's just in the right place. Bring the ratio down to zero. And now what we're gonna do is once you play the vocal, as the vocal plays, we're gonna bring the ratio up until around here we see it, the six here flashing. So we're getting minus six of gain reduction. So what we're doing as the vocal comes in, it will be hitting the threshold and the ratio will be making it go to minus six and it'll be smoothing out the whole of the vocal. So let's just do it on the vocal without the instrumental so that it doesn't confuse things. You can hear it working much better when the instrumental's in, but this is just to do the setup. So back down to zero and then watch these lights here and we want it minus six. We're falling In and out of love In and out of love I'm calling You out You out so you can hear it's just sort of grabbing it as it's going a little bit too high at the front where the sort of front transient's coming in. It's just grabbing hold of it, bringing it down and just keeping it smooth. Because we have got a little bit of release on it, what that means is just holding it a little bit of time so that you're not just getting this kind of pumping sound. It's just going, it's grabbing it and holding it together. So now we've done that, we've got that set up. It's just under a sort of two to one ratio there. You could see we were getting about 6 dB of gain reduction. I'll play this so that you can hear it all the way through before and after. But before I do, make sure that you've pressed the like button and you subscribed because 67% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed so look at the subscribe button now and uh, click the subscribe button so when you're listening to this what to listen for is the vocal is going in and out of love in and out of love so it's not just keeping it flat by keeping it flat and together it just does sound more together and more professional it's not jumping around too dynamically so i'm going to play this through once without the compression and then i'm going to play this section with the compression so you can hear the difference you'll see it's hitting around minus six here so let's have a listen.
So you can hear how it just holds it. It's super smooth now on the second one. You could probably pop that up a dB or two just um, to bring the level up a bit because obviously we're just holding those spikes down a little bit more now. So that's going to take the level down. You can hear that drop a touch, but you can hear how nice that vocal sounds. This also works really well on guitars. It works really well on synths. So give it a try, it's a great thing for your toolkit. Don't forget to subscribe to the video and go to streaky.com where you can learn how to mix with one of my deep dive mixing courses. The next video coming up is if you want more punchy drums, this little hack will do that exactly for you.